post it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise and worship you, Lord. In the honor of the name, glorify the name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Praise to worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Your friends, good morning. To you all, the church in the USA, Brother Craig, good morning to you. <laughs> good evening. Praise Jesus. You're, uh, you're a little yeah. difficult to hear. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm a little difficult to hear? Yeah, your your voice just breaks up a bit. My voice is breaks up now? It's better. Good? Yeah, better. It's better. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's better. Hello, dear Praise friends. Uh, this is uh, uh, the online sur Sunday service uh, to the USA Church that we have led by the Holy Spirit to speak the word uh, to our beloved nation uh, because we have been praying for the United States of America Thank uh, you. So over years after years, years after years. And uh, Amen. we have got the revelation knowledge and the leading point to um, deliver the word uh, more and more and uh, um, to the U.S. church because, you know, the church is the same everywhere. We are brothers and sisters in the same body. And um, though, though we live in different continents and uh, countries, that doesn't matter. Church is one. And, uh, it Amen. Is <laughs> Christ reigns over the church. Hallelujah. So, Amen. and we want our brothers and sisters from there to speak the word as well in the church services. And uh, we have been praying for helping us, uh, uh, God to help us with music teams and uh, singers in the coming days. And uh, I believe that trust God for that. And um, I have some friends uh, that those who can sing and uh, who can play the piano, or the guitar, I don't know what. Uh, yes. This uh, man's names. We love today. My wife, Mino, and me have joined along uh, with my um, close friend and a uh, man of God, a holy man, and a world evangelist, I can tell that. Uh, Brother Craig Demo is our guest speaker today. Hallelujah. So to start this, uh, um, to start this uh, uh, service, I just wanted Brother Craig to uh, pray for this service, and uh, my wife and me will sing a, a song for the Lord, and then uh, hand over the rest of the time for him to speak. Because we know that you are, uh, you know that you have to go to church over there. And, uh, and there, there are so many things to look after. Yes, Brother Craig, will you please pray for this session and uh, we start. Uh, yes, thank you. We are separated time-wise by 13 and a half hours. So it's about uh, 8 p.m. here and about 9.30 p.m. there. So let me pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you, Lord God, for my brother, my sister over in India right now, whoever else is watching, we thank you for the spirit of wisdom and revelation, Lord God, and the knowledge of Christ. And we thank you, Father God, that Jesus is being lifted up in this time. That's what we want. We want him to be glorified. And I just pray, Father, over the rest of our time that you will take hold. Holy Spirit, have your way. And we just thank you for it. In the strong name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, just my wife would like to sing for a song for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, go ahead. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise him. Praise him for the sun, love, love him, love 
Hallelujah. As we come into the presence of Lord, for the United States of America, Lord, as our brother, your son, a great demo, Lord, you were chosen and called vessel, Lord. Hallelujah. Anoint him, Lord. Anoint him, Lord. Give him strength, boldness to speak the word. Hallelujah. In the way of him, Lord, so that we can impact the nations, Lord. We can impact India. We can impact Asia. We can impact the United States of America and the rest of all these countries in this world. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. All the world is a white for your world, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We bless you, Father. Honor. We bless you, Father. Jesus, mighty Lord. name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Hello, God. Hello, dear friends. This is, you know that today we felt in our hearts to bless the United States of America with the word of God. And this man, you know that he is a brother of mine in, in, in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I have seen miracles, signs, wonders happen in his ministry. I am blessed to have him as one of my friends from the United States of America. I know that he and his wife, Sister Terry, they are chosen and called ministers of God, anointed, appointed for the plan of God. And they have been serving the Lord in different countries, in Thailand, in China, in, in uh, Kenya, um, uh, sorry, in other countries, Nigeria, in African countries, Asian countries, 
us in, in America, in different in states of America, and where the Lord leads them, they are going in and delivering the word and healing the sick people, healing the nations, blessing the nations by the word of God and by the spirit of God. And they, uh, today, as I ask him in the name of Jesus, he says, yes, for speaking the word. Thanks so much, brother. Thank you so much. I just wanted you, I request you to share our live broadcasting on your timeline as well. And um, as yes. we're going to share the word of God and we just want you to send uh, uh, this live broadcasting into uh, to, to, to different friends of ours across all over the world, especially, you know, that God's calling in our life is to reach out to India, first of all, mm. and we want to preach the gospel, and we want to uh, reach out the world. Then after India is the United States of America in our lives. So mm. we want to bless the nation with the word of God and the gifts of the Holy Ghost that what he has given to us. Thank you so much. Before we go to message, I just wanted to mention one word and I would love to increase the church. That is uh, from Genesis 31, 40 to 42. There we can find the conversation between Laban and Jacob. You know that Laban do not like to bless Jacob and Jacob have served him over 20 years. <laughs> but you know that there was a great argument between them and uh, there were so many things that had happened in the life of Jacob. But Jacob was telling one word here. I just wanted to greet the people and read the word and uh, hand over the time to my, my friend. Hallelujah. Um, except 42nd word. <clears throat> Excuse me. 41 and 42. <clears throat> Thus have I been twenty years in thy house, I served thee, fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy cattle, and thou hast changed my wages ten times, except the God of my father, listen to this, except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of uh, Isaac had been with me, Surely thou hadst sent me away now empty. This, this is the trap of the devil. You know, devil always likes us to be empty, not to be blessed. Yeah. Um, but God is, God was with Jacob. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God has seen mine affliction and the labor of my hands and rebuked thee as tonight. See this? No, God works for our blessings yeah. all the time. You know, though we sleep, yeah. he said that because of the uh, because of the <clears throat> um, oh, be, because of 30, 41, you know that because in the day the drought consumed me and the frost by night and my sleep departed from my eyes. Mm. The, my friends, we may have sleepless nights, but because, but remember this, God works for our blessing. He gives mm -hmm. to his beloved while they are asleep. 127 Psalm, second word. So my friends, I just wanted your blessings out there. They were secured by the Lord and they are yours. God shall not mm. allow our enemy to slay because God rebuked Laban in the night dream and uh, and delivered all the blessings of Jacob out of his hands. Amen. So as my brother have told us last night in last night broadcasting, when the thief cut up, he has to pay seven fours mm. to us. And he has to vacate his house. Proverbs 631. So you, our blessings are secured. We are blessed people. Though we sleep, God helps us, blesses us. May God bless you. May God bless the church in the United States of America. I just wanted um, my brother go to share what the Lord has laid upon his heart to bless not only the USA, 
burnt the entire world. Go ahead. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, that was wonderful, Pastor Kumar, and uh, appreciate so much the invitation. Um, I am uh, happy and delighted to be in front of, of your audience today. And I just want you to know we appreciate your prayers for the United States of America. We are praying for India, too, and all of Southeast Asia. And the prayers of God are going up before the throne for the entire world, praise the Lord, just as it's on your heart, it's on ours too. And here we are on opposite sides of the world, and yet we are united. And that's an amazing thing. Um, over 2,500 years ago, the prophet Isaiah said that the time was coming when the earth would be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea. Praise God. Now, that means it's flowing, it's real thick, praise God, and uh, it's going everywhere, and there's no way to escape it. And uh, I just thank God that we all have our little peace in uh, fulfilling that prophecy. We're seeing the Word of God go all over the Word of uh, world. And uh, that's just, that's wonderful because it's changing our world. And the Apostle Paul said that the Word of God is not bound. Praise God. In other words, doesn't matter what comes against me, doesn't matter what the opposition is, doesn't matter what the hindrances are, uh, God's Word is going to go forth and He's going to see to it that that takes place. So that said, I know there's many people that uh, struggle in the area of divine healing, and we're going to talk about that a little bit uh, for the next few minutes. Our time is short, and I have to be cognizant of the time, but nonetheless, uh, we're going to talk about a few things I think are important. You know, many of God's people um, really uh, practice and pray for the sick uh, they practice divine healing is what I was uh, trying to say there. And uh, that's that's great. That's wonderful. Uh, many, though, they struggle with concepts of divine healing, and they wonder how it is if the Bible says in 1 Peter 2.24, for example, by his stripes we were healed. How is it that I still have sickness in my body? How is it that I still have a pain? How is it that I'm still struggling with what's going on? And uh, oftentimes people do not understand all of the forces that are coming against them. Well, we don't have to understand all those things. We do need to get a hold of God's power. And uh, so I'm going to talk about something uh, I think that will be a blessing to uh, people listening to us today, and uh, it's just going to, uh, I just have a few minutes, as I said, but uh, <clears throat> I, I want to get this this concept across to you. I, I know you've heard me discuss this before, Pastor Kumar, but maybe some, some have not, and that is, we're to look at healing as a deposit that God has already laid up for us. It belongs to us, and you see, if I was to go to uh, the the uh, bank there uh, where you do your banking in India and I was to put into your account 100,000 rupees you know um, you know then you would be richer at that moment uh, even though you haven't found out about it because say I go in and I do that for you but you have not uh, uh, you know I did not uh, I told the, the bank teller don't tell uh, brother Kumar where this money ca came from and so I'm just doing this anonymously just to be a blessing well you know that's uh, that's not enough to make you a rich man necessarily but it is enough to make a difference in your life and uh, so that's significant and so when you finally find out about it and you are told by the bank yes this is a legitimate you don't have to worry about you know taking it out and then we're going to withdraw the the uh, the money later or anything of that nature you don't have to pay this back this uh, you know was put there uh, on purpose for your benefit and so when you fight when you really come to the realization that this is yours you're gonna get very very happy and maybe it comes as a result of several phone conversations but you get really happy that's like you receiving hope from the Word of God 
Hope, the Bible says, makes not ashamed. Hope causes you to be joyful. Uh, when you receive the word, you get joyful about it. And many people have gotten joyful about divine healing, but they're still not healed. See, we have to go beyond that. Hope is a foundation. We have to add to our hope faith. And so that uh, faith is like the time, not when you find out about your deposit, but when you actually go to the bank or use your bank card to draw draw out the uh, money that is yours. And you see, that's faith. Faith is the, is the substance of things hoped for, and it's the evidence of things not yet seen. Now, once you exercise faith, then uh, you're doing so with the platform of assurance. Hope is that assurance. And uh, hope is a confident expectation of what you uh, believe is yours from the Word of God. And then faith is actually taking the next step and acting on that. Okay, so let, let me, let me uh, explain what I'm talking about here. You see, with healing, God already made a deposit in the name of Jesus, and it's there for you. Most of the world and much of the church world doesn't, isn't even aware of that. Uh, but they are richer for, the, for that deposit right now. Just like you were richer the moment that I put that 100,000 rupees and this is an allegory, by the way. I'm, I'm not going to try to... I can't do that tomorrow because I'm not in India. But uh, at any rate, um, I, uh, you are richer the moment I put that money in. And you are richer because of the deposit that uh, God ratified through the blood of Jesus 2,000 years ago when Jesus paid the price, the ultimate price for our redemption. It's the same thing. Every man, woman, boy, and girl on the planet is richer as a result of the deposit of healing. But they have, when they find out about it, then they get happy about it. Hope comes. Hope comes from the Word of God. Amen. But then, as a result of that hope, you have a foundation that then you, then you can actually exercise faith. Faith is when we pray. Faith is when we speak the Word of God. The Bible says about the prayer of faith for the sick, and by the way, if, we're, if you're sick in body today, we're going to pray for you in just a few moments. But uh, when you have that, that uh, when you have the hope, then you take it a step further. Uh, you have that foundation. Now you're going to act on that word. And as one great man of God said, faith is a fact, but faith is an act. So we act on the word of God. We actually do what the word it speaks to us about. Praise the Lord. So that said, I just want to uh, tell you that the, the blood of Jesus has already ratified your healing. And let me remind you of what the Bible says, first of all, in Isaiah 53 uh, verse 5. It says that uh, <clears throat> that surely, which means absolutely, he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. And that might appear different to you in the English Bible or in the Hindi Bible or in whatever language that you are reading from. But surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. Uh, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Sorry, that's verse 4. We esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. That's important to do. Not to see yourself as stricken and smitten, but to see him uh, stricken and smitten. And surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Or surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. That was spoken uh, in the Old Covenant, and as soon as God speaks something, it's reality. But in the New Covenant, we're told through the Apostle Peter, by his stripes you were 
healed. It's already done, my friend. It's completely done. And that's why we're going to pray the prayer of faith. The Bible says in James 5, 15, the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. The Lord will raise him up. And if he's committed sins, they'll be forgiven as well. So that's what I want to tell you today. It's already yours. You've already got it. And all we need to do at this moment, because hope has come, is to act on that. And that's why we're going to pray the prayer of faith. Lord bless you, and I'll give it back to you, Pastor Kumar. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for uh, the beautiful world today. Healing is our deposit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hope does not ascend. What a wonderful word. There is this faith is a fact, but it is also an act. We have to act on it for our Amen. healings. And, and so thanks so much for healing India, uh, yeah, the, uh, sending the sending for the word of healing to, to heal the nations, even even the United States States of America. The same medicine Amen. is there, the same yes. medicine. And, yes. uh, and, and and this is the word of God that God healed them by sending forth his word. So the world brings us healing. Thank you so much, Brother Craig, and uh, hello, dear friends. And uh, if you, if any one of you feels bad uh, in your flesh or in your in your body, or if you are suffering with sicknesses and diseases, I just wanted uh, uh, Brother Craig to minister uh, to the audience. Uh, people can receive the healing after hearing this recording so many so many times we we hear the testimonies yes. after after recordings you know that the word was written several years ago but the, the we, we are we are believing the written word and we are believing the revealed word as well the revelation knowledge the word of god so that's for our healing so i just wanted to minister uh brother craig to um Heal. Can you please pray for a half minute and heal the people? Uh, pray for healing to their bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right, let's do that now. Just receive. Praise God. Don't yes. try. Just receive. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord God, that your word commands us to come boldly to the yes. throne of grace to obtain mercy. And find grace to help in the time of need. And Lord, I recognize that that time is right now for my brother or my sister who is in need of healing in their body. So Lord God, as we stand before you, Lord God, we thank you, Lord, that we are here to do what you said. You commanded us to come and get our mercy and our grace. And we thank you, Lord God, that the word already told us by his stripes we were healed and that Jesus took our infirmities, and bore our sicknesses. Lord God, we refuse to take what Jesus took. We refuse to bear what Jesus bore. Lord, we receive what Jesus already paid for, that he might be glorified. So right now, in Jesus' name, I speak to every sickness, every disease, every infirmity, every weakness, and every pain, and I say to you, go! Now, in Jesus' name, never to return. Praise God. There it is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody is being healed by the power of God right now, and we just thank God for it. Praise God. Be sure to get your testimony to Pastor Kumar and uh, let him know that you appreciate him. Praise the Lord. May the love of God and the grace of our dear Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship Thank of the you, Holy Lord. Ghost Thank you, Jesus. shall be abiding with us now and forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless and uh, God bless America. But God bless Amen. India. Thank God bless you so all much. The and thanks so much, Brother Craig, and God bless your family and the ambassador ministry. Thank you. Glory. God bless. Thanks okay. for sharing the word. All right. Bye-bye. Take bye -bye. care. We will talk soon. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes. As uh, uh, Brother Craig have uh, mentioned to share, 
about your testimonies to with us so that we can uh, praise God that what God has done in your life with you. So my friends in the USA or friends across any other countries that who has heard this message today, please do share how the Lord blessed you by the word and by his power. Thank you so very much. I'm waiting for hearing from you. Love you all. This is Kuma and my wife Minu. My children are sleeping now. It's 10 o'clock here in the nighttime in India. But we love you all and praying for you. We love the USA and the rest of the countries as well. Bye bye. Take care. Blessings in Jesus. Amen. Amen.